Hi, I'm Meg. And I'm Megan. And this is Special Collections Roadshow. This time, we're just going down the road to the Gettysburg National Military Park. Hi, I'm Meg, and welcome to Special Collections Roadshow. Today we've gone on the road and we're here at Gettysburg uh, National Military Park. And I'm here with Meg Sutter. Um, and we're going to be talking about this uh, enlisted man's uniform. So why don't you tell me a little bit about this um, particular uniform bag? Uh, so this would have been a regular enlisted man's uniform. Um, and specifically what we have right here is the sack coat of an enlisted man. Um, it is what they would call Prussian blue. Um, and there are four eagle buttons on it, as would have been the norm for just a normal infantry man. Um, and there isn't, there's kind of a woolen lining in here. It's partially lined, um, it, but it's not very substantial. There isn't a lot to this uniform. Um, clearly, it wasn't made as well as, uh, say, some other garments that would have, you know, they would have had more time to make those garments. These, these were made very quickly and put out to all the men so as quickly as they could. Um, and then of course we also have the sky blue pants which are also woolen and you have some you know the buttons there. Yeah. Really, really neat. So what is this made out of? This would have been just wool uh, which is different than some of the maybe reenactment garments that we would have today because it's it's full wool whereas today we have the uh, woolen blends um, so it actually is more breathable uh, and they wouldn't have made it out of cotton or linen they they had the means but it wasn't practical uh, to use it because it wasn't as sturdy as um, as wool would have been so what would they have worn underneath, like, the coat, for example? You know, they're not just going to wear <laughs> a coat with nothing underneath. Of course, of um, course. So what else would have been, mm -hmm. what else would they have worn yeah. along with? So know, there whatever? are, of course, undergarments that uh, these men would have worn. So, for example, you're going to have a cotton undershirt. You're going to have long uh, underwear uh, that was also cotton, usually cream, white, and long johns as well, and some cotton drawers. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, those would have been their normal undergarments and they're going to have cotton socks as well as sometimes they'd have a vest mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that would obviously have made it a lot more comfortable to wear because, you know, I mean, I'm allergic to wool, so <laughs> that yeah, would I'm, not have been pleasant uh, of to course. have it rubbing against your skin so that makes it a little bit more um, yeah. comfortable, I guess. And too. wool's just, of course, as we know, wool's very hot during the summer. Mm -hmm. um, and but, but it is breathable, but it's breathable. To, to some degree, um, and especially when this gets wet, you're not warm either. Exactly. So it's it's not ideal in in a lot of ways, but it's the most practical thing too. Yeah. To some mm -hmm. So Meg, why don't you tell me a little bit more about how these uniform pieces would have been made? Are they all machine sewn? Are they hand sewn? Because obviously during the Civil War, they do have the technology to sew on a sewing yes. machine. Right. Um, so how much of that is present here in a uniform like this? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, these uniforms would have been kind of a mixture of uh, sewing machine sewn as well as mostly the hems and the uh, lining was going to be hand sewn. And you can usually tell based on the size of the stitching. So the very even stitches um, around just the majority of a coat around the edge of the coat are very even stitches, smaller stitches, um, and so those would have been uh, machine sewn. And then the buttonholes are hand sewn. Most buttonholes were hand sewn, um, and you can you can just you can tell that they're kind of, I mean these are very neat buttonholes, but they're not what our today our machines would have sewn a buttonhole. Um, as for the pants, the same thing goes. So you have machine sewn around just the, the, the outer, the edges, outer the edges, edges, the seams. But then hem-wise, uh, the, the hem of the pant was hand sewn. Yeah. Make sure you stay tuned for part two 
I'll be uniform at Gettysburg National Military Park. It'll be up shortly.